The card visually changes. The magician takes the eight of hearts and transforms it into the king of hearts. This fooled me when I first saw it. I'm gonna teach you how to spin a card on your finger like this. And I'm even gonna teach you this incredible card control. The magician cleanly places the nine of spades in the middle of the deck. And now it is on top. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Oscar Owen here. And in this video, you're gonna be learning nine amazing card tricks that anyone can do. So there's some more advanced card tricks in this video. So if you're a bit more advanced, you'll enjoy those. But there's also some beginner tricks as well if you're brand new to card magic. So I've tried to make something for everyone. Anyway, uh, Hamed's gonna be teaching these magic tricks. So I'm excited for you to learn them. I'll see you in the video. The magician has a playing card and visually changes it. For this trick, take two cards and make sure that they're different. Place one card in front of the other one and then align them up as shown. Now, your finger positioning is very important. Place your thumb on the back and middle and first finger on the front in the corner. To do the change, pull back the first card with your middle finger in a snapping motion. Your first finger loosens as you do this, allowing the card to fly back out of sight, parallel with the ground. Keep practicing this move until it's fast. The magician takes a playing card and spins it on his finger. This is a fun flourish that you can do with any type of card, including business cards. So this will require some practice, but it's totally worth learning. Place the card on your middle finger and you want to balance it there perfectly. Once you've got this, place your thumb on top. Your first finger then comes in and rocks the card back. The momentum from this pull will cause the card to spin in your finger. However, you won't get this on the first time as it's all about feel. So just hold the card in this position, use your first finger to put it back and make the card spin. As you do this, your thumb lifts up, allowing the card to spin. Do it over and over again until you build the balance and the muscle memory. Very quickly, if you wanna learn what I think is the greatest card trick of all time, then check out my free magic webinar where I'm gonna be teaching you the greatest card trick of all time in my opinion. It's literally the trick that I use to finish my stage shows when I'm doing magic in front of crowds of people. And this trick basically can't go wrong. There's no sleight of hand. And yeah, it is really just, in my opinion, the greatest card trick of all time. So check out the first link in the description where you can sign up to the free webinar and, and I'll teach you this magic trick 100% for free, no strings attached. This is an amazing but advanced card control. The spectator selects a playing card, and in this case, it's the Seven of Hearts. The card is then returned into the center of the deck very slowly and very cleanly. Amazingly, that card has now jumped to the top. Have the spectator choose any card that they like. In this case, they've chosen the Ace of Diamonds. Return the card halfway down and have it sticking out the deck by about an inch. With your thumb on the back of the deck, use your middle finger to push the spectator's card into the deck whilst also pushing it to the side. This needs to happen very fast, so practice this move in isolation. Next, slide your other thumb along the side of the deck, pushing the spectator's card further in. This will cause their card to be outjogged under the cover of your right hand. Now simply grab this card with your little finger from your left hand and pull it into a vertical position. This will allow you to dribble the cards down and then the spectator's card can just be placed on top. This does require some practice, but at full speed, this is a very convincing card control. A playing card is selected. In this case, it's the 10 of spades. It then visually changes into the king of clubs. Here is how. This is known as the drop box change. Turn the card which is second from the bottom of the deck over as shown. Then get a thumb break holding this card. Swing cut the cards to the side and turn over the selected card. In this case, it's the seven of clubs. Now you want to add this card to the thumb break that you're holding in your other hand, but leave a few centimeters of the card sticking out so you can still see its suit and its value. From here, the trick just works. All you need to do is drop the cards from the thumb break and then square everything up at the same time, and it will create the convincing illusion that you've magically changed the cards. The magician has two kings. He cleanly displays them, and then a card is selected. In this case, it's the eight of hearts. 
the eight is put somewhere back into the deck. The magician then takes the two kings, flips them over, and in between is the spectator's eight of hearts. This is Hamed's very own sandwich magic trick and it's truly beautiful, but it will require a little bit of practice. Remove the two red kings from the deck. Now place them on top of the deck one at a time. But for the last king, you want to maintain a pinky break under it. Now convert that break into a thumb break and then dribble down the cards. You can learn all of these moves in my card course, Card Magic Pro, so check the link in the description. When the spectator says stop, let them see their card. Here's the advanced move. Practice using your little finger to flick the card up vertical. Do this over and over again until you've got it. Now simply do this move under the cover of your other hand as you dribble the cards down. When you get to the last king, drop the spectator's card and then place the king on top. Now pick up all three cards and slide the bottom king out, hiding the spectator's card. Finally, flip the cards over and separate them to reveal that the kings have sandwiched the spectator's selection. The magician has an eight of hearts. He turns it over and now it's the king of hearts. This trick actually fooled me when I first saw it as it's so clean and beautiful. So to do this trick, you need two cards. Display them as one and then as you flip the cards around, you're going to use your middle and ring finger to flick the top card so it's at a 90 degree angle to the other one. Then use your right hand and grab this card between your first finger and middle finger. This will cause it to flick out of sight. You can then turn around the other card to show that it's changed. To end clean, palm the second card out using your middle finger from your left hand. This is how you control any card to the top of the deck. The spectator selects the nine of spades. This is then returned into the middle. The magician then snaps his fingers and impossibly, it's on top. This is called the tumble control. Dribble the cards down and let the spectators say stop. In this case, they've stopped on the two of spades. Out jog this card, letting it rest on your fingertips and then place the other half of the deck on top. Flick the cards over and the spectator selection will join the top of the bottom pile. Let me show you this again. The selected card is the eight of clubs. We leave it out jogged and then it's flipped and is now on top of the bottom pile. Then using your left hand fingers, push out the bottom card on the top pile. In this case, the seven of spades. When this is done at speed, it's impossible to see. Now place the top pile on the table, followed by the seven of spades, which the spectator assumes is their card. And then the rest of the cards on top. The spectator's card will now be on top of the deck. The magician has two jacks and cleanly displays them. He waves his hand over the cards and it visually changes into an ace. This is a beautiful colour change and you actually need three cards to do this. Two jacks and one ace. Start with the ace in the middle and then pull the bottom ace to the side so it looks like you're displaying two cards. Pick up all three cards between your thumb, middle and first finger and then use your thumb to pull back the bottom card again and display what looks like just two jacks. Then turn over the bottom two cards as one and place the other card on top face down. Slide back the top face down card and the bottom card at the same time. This will leave the middle card sticking out. Now you just need to pull this middle card out. In this case, it's the jack of spades. And then put it on the bottom of the deck leave about an inch showing. Finally, get a pinky break under the top face down card, which will then give you space to push the second card, which is the ace, forward with your thumb. This creates a very visual change as you push the card forward whilst waving your hand over it. The card visually changes. Take two cards and get a pinky break under them both. and then do a double lift to turn them both over. Place them at an angle on the side of the deck. Your fingers of your left hand need to be making contact with the back two cards for this effect to work. 
As your hand covers the card, use your thumb to slide it back, leaving the second card hidden under your hand and supported by your fingertips. Finally, you just need to bring the second card flush with the other one and you'll have a very visual colour change. Thanks so much for watching this video everyone and please make sure you check out the free training by clicking the first link in the description to learn the best card trick ever created.